Is autism a superpower? It's not a question I thought I'd ever ask on screen, but thanks to ignorant speculation in recent books, articles and online discussion, it's become a hot topic. Whilst a few autists, particularly some in the public eye, have quipped that autism is their superpower, I doubt any of them thought for a moment that their empowering analogy would be taken so literally or be the source of such undermining rhetoric. There are comparisons between autistic life and that of a superhero, though. In the fictional world of superheroes, secret identities are a necessary precaution for living in a hostile world. Being public about who they are would paint a target on their backs 24-7 instead of just being at risk whilst they have their capes or their masks on. Clumsy, bespectacled Clark Kent and shy, awkward Peter Parker disguise the true power of their costumed alter egos. Most autistic people are also forced to hide behind a secret identity, but we're most at risk when our masks are off. In order to pass without comment in everyday life, to get through education, hold down jobs and receive relatively equal treatment to others, we spend our public lives play-acting. Our masks are our shields. We conceal our sensory differences, both those which give us an advantage and those which cause us pain. We learn how to speak like other people do, using meaningless small talk to appear normal and learning about things which we have no interest in in order to be part of the conversation. We socialise when we don't want to, play power games we want no part of and wear painfully uncomfortable clothes in order to blend into the background. Do we have actual superpowers, though? Well, of course we don't. Not in the comic book sense. In the comics, most superpowers are distinctly physical and incredible. I've never met an autist with super speed who could shoot lightning from their fingertips or see through walls. There's plenty of autists who can do some things better than many neurotypical people, though. The spiky skill set is a common trait of autism. We're not generalists, we're specialists, but the skills we excel at aren't exciting enough for Disney to pin a summer blockbuster on. There's no movie spectacle in profound memory for details, pattern recognition or ability to recognise voices even when they're disguised. My strength in public speaking wouldn't be the inspiration for Hollywood, but for some reason my difficulty speaking in social situations would. The weaknesses that accompany our peak skills are the subject of more than one dramatic depiction of the effect we have on the people around us, but rarely is the autistic point of view ever considered worth mentioning. When someone says, autism is my superpower, don't take them literally. They're not claiming to be a superhero in the Marvel or DC sense. They're simply contrasting the tragic, deficit-driven public narrative about autism by expressing their understanding that without their autism, they would not be able to do the things that bring them the most joy maybe even the things that they are recognised for. They're saying that, in their opinion, there's an upside to being autistic, not just the downside constantly emphasised by those who wish to change us. To try to turn that harmless analogy into a subject for books, scholarly papers, or an opportunity to justify intellectually redundant arguments over high-functioning and severe autism is nothing short of an attack on all autists to serve your own narrow-minded worldview or to line your pockets. If there is a superpower in autism, it lies within our adaptability and emotional strength. The ability to withstand the disapproval of others, to live in a world which tortures our senses and our restraint from melting down every time we are dismissed, ignored, ridiculed or manipulated. It's in the patience which allows us to keep going in a world that wishes we didn't exist and the tactics we have evolved to preserve our sanity. It's in our elaborate masks that keep us safe in a world littered with social bear traps and our capacity to do it all again the next day despite the exhaustion it always makes us feel. 
not all of us make the distance, and there have been some tragic losses who were pushed beyond even their prodigious limits. Is autism a superpower? No, not in my opinion. But to survive as an autistic person in this world requires a strength, resilience and a will to survive that most neurotypical people still can't comprehend. Autistic people may not have comic book superpowers, but all autists are superheroes to me. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about autistic life then subscribe by clicking the link on the left or watch another video on the right or you could visit autistomatic.com.